Hello YouTube, my name is Ivan Santos and in today's video we'll learn how to add Superbase Magic Link Auth to your Svelte Kit application in a quick and dirty way. For those who do not know what Superbase is, in short it's an alternative to Firebase. It has a subset of features that Firebase does such as databases, functions and authentication. Um, but if you really want to know more about those two services and the difference between them, I highly recommend watching Fireship's video on the subject. Without further ado, let's get started. Oh, if you want to follow along, all the code is available on GitHub. The link to the repository is in the description below. And you might want to check out the YouTube start branch, as that's the starting point on this video. Uh, and the main branch will contain the entire solution. This is the project. It's pretty straightforward. It's just one page. Um, I have here a form, which has an email input text field. Um, and then I also have a button to submit. Um, that will sign in and then I have a button to sign out. The sign in just outputs the email that you put in here in, into the logs and the sign out just says log out. So first thing we want to do is create a super base project. Um, so I already have created the account in the super base. If you don't, it's pretty straightforward to do so. And once you're done creating your, your, your account, you'll get to this page here. And after that, you just have to create a new project here. Let's just call YouTube auth. And then I have to get a strong password. All right. So the region where you want to do it and then the pricing plan, I'm going to do free and create new project. And while the project is being set up, let's go ahead and start adding the super base JavaScript library into our project. So let's take a look at the JavaScript library. And it's pretty easy. We just have to do npm install superbase. I'm gonna kill the server, npm superbase, save dev. All right, now it is installed. I'll do npm run dev again, so I'm running the server. And just to make sure everything looks like it's working just fine. Um, and now we gotta instantiate the superbase client which is in the next page here, initialize, which need to call client. So we'll do here, I'm going to copy the import and then copy this first line. All right. So for creating the client, you need to have the, your super base URL and your public anonymous key, <clears throat> which you can get it from the homepage of your project in super base. So it's right here. The, and on public. Now this one, we'll get it here. Let's get on and key and on key. And then URL, you can get it from the project configuration right here. URL. And then I'll just replace them here. And then key URL. And then let me just Do a console log, console log on the super base object, and let's just make sure that you know we're getting it. And as you can see here, we were able to initialize the client. So now that the client is configured and the project has been set up for you, so now we go to our authentication dashboard and let's go ahead and create a user. And I'm just going to use um, and the only thing you need to create a user is an email address. So I'm going to use a temporary email uh, from this website here. So let's do copy and then I'm going to add the email here and then I'll say invite user. <clears throat> so Superbay is going to send an email to this email address and it's going to ask us to confirm that um, that it's a valid email. So you see you've been invited. So I'm going to click on this guy and then accept the invite. So now I went back to the page. So now it's a, um, a valid user. So now I should be able to log in. So let's go back to our project and start adding the sign in and sign out. So the sign out is pretty easy. Let's just do that one first. You just have to call superbase auth.sign out. And for sign in with a magic link, it's also very straightforward. And all you need to do is pass in the email. And the last thing we want to do is do on mount here, superbase, auth on, 
auth change. Okay. So now when we try to log in, we should be able to get something. Uh, my email, I forget what it is. I'll do a copy here. Sign in with magic link. Oh, it seems I configured something incorrectly. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it's because of the the create client. I think it takes in the URL first and then the key. So let's just flip that around. URL and key. So now let's try it again. Sign in with magic link. All right, it sent no, no. So it sent something. So if you look at the email, we just got a magic link seven seconds ago and I hit login. And now I should have logged in here. So I got a user object showing that I, I logged in. So now we logged in and then we can sign out here. We can see that we get an undefined object, which is coming from here now. So now we have, we're able to log in and log out. Um, let's store the session user to a, to a variable, right? So let's just call it user here. Uh, do -do -do. Let user be any for, for the time being here. <clears throat> and then if user we do something and then else we do something and then we close if. So if we have user defined, we don't need to log in. If the user is defined, then we have a sign out button. And then I should say P here, sign in as user.email. All right, so now we go here, let's log in again. Sign in with magic link, go back here, refresh, get my magic link, log in. So now I'm signed in and I'm signing both places here. And if I refresh the pages, I'm still signed in. And then if I hit sign out, I sign out. And then I should have signed out from all these pages. Yep, I do. And yeah. So that is it for this video. I hope this was useful. And I'll see you on the next one.